Have you ever been away from home or office, but still needed to access your Synology NAS remotely? What you need is set up port forwarding rules for your devices. Port forwarding is the process of establishing a connection between remote device and LAN devices or services. This process allows you to redirect the connection request to a specific IP address via router or firewall settings. In addition to port forwarding setup, you can also enable Quick Connect to access Synology NAS via a customized address without complicated network settings. You might be wondering, doesn't Quick Connect work as an easier way instead? Actually, the two approaches are complementary. If no direct connection is created in LAN or WAN when enabling Quick Connect, the client will attempt to establish a virtual tunnel to allow mutual communication between the client and the NAS with the hole punching technology. Please note that hole punching is highly dependable on your network environments. So in cases where the virtual tunnel cannot be created, the Quick Connect server will initiate a relay service to allow data transmission through Synology Relay Server. However, Communicating over the relay server may cause high latency in data delivery depending on your location. That's why it's always recommended to set up the port forwarding rules. With the forwarded ports on your router, the connection can be established without going through the relay server, ensuring higher efficiency when using Synology services. In this video, we will show you how to configure port forwarding either on DSM or on the router that your NAS is connected to. You can find the details of each method and their timestamp links in the description. Before adding the port forwarding rules, make sure you have set up a connection between your NAS and the router. You will need a UPnP router that is compatible with your Synology NAS. Please check the compatibility list by visiting the link in the description. To start, open Control Panel and select External Access. Go to Router Configurations and click Setup Router. The wizard will run the network settings test and display the information of your UPnP router. Click Next to complete the setup. Click Apply. Next, click Create to open the port forwarding setup window. Select Built-in Application if you want to create port forwarding rules for system services such as FTP or WebStation or you can choose Custom Port to add rules for other services. Here we choose Custom Port. Choose the protocol, enter local port name, click Apply, press Save after you have added the rules. If you see the message, no UPnP router was found, don't panic. You can still set up the port forwarding rules on your router's interface. Please note that the interface might differ by manufacturer. For example, on Netgear's router, you can find the port forwarding settings in advanced setup. Enter the service name, the IP address of your NAS, and the external and internal port names. Now we will demonstrate how easy it is to configure port forwarding on Synology Router for you. First, log into Synology Router Manager. Open Network Center and go to Port Forwarding. Click Create and enter the service name to configure your settings for your own reference. Enter the IP address of your NAS in the private IP address field. Specify the number for the public port that the remote device connects to from the WAN side, and the private port you want to forward traffic to within your local network. In this demonstration, we will use port 5000 to connect to your NAS. Select Protocol, click Create, and Save. Now you can connect to your NAS with the added port number. For the list of port numbers used by Synology services, please visit the link in the description. After you create the port forwarding rules, it is recommended to enable Quick Connect so you can access your NAS easily and efficiently. All you have to do is log into DSM and go to Control Panel to set up Quick Connect. By enabling Quick Connect, you can access your NAS anytime and anywhere with a customized ID that is easy to remember. With port forwarding, you can now access DSM or other services on your NAS from anywhere in the world. To learn more about port forwarding, visit the links in the description.